Hey, Logan. Hey. Hey there. You know what? You look absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you. So do you. Thank you. Is there anything else you need? We're fine for now. Enjoy your evening. It's different. Lots of changes. For the better, I think. You're right. They've improved it. Which makes it even more appropriate for the evening. Are we the new and improved Ridge and Brook? Working on it. But like this room, everything that really mattered is already here. You ever miss those days? They were fun, weren't they? Never anything to worry about. I guess we were just naive. Well, something to be said for not knowing any better. But now we do. Something to be said for that, too. The wisdom of experience? Definitely overrated. I don't know about that. Because as crazy in love as I was with the girl you were then, she couldn't hold a candle to the woman you are now. Thank you for bringing me here. Seemed right. Such a magical place for us. Only beautiful memories. Not one unkind word, no arguments. A mistake-free zone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? A place you could go to and know that every decision you made was right. Never having to second-guess yourself. No mistakes. No learning. No growth. I'm kind of tired of growing. Oh, Logan. See, this is what people don't understand about us. The way we are when we're together. The way we fit. Why should they understand, huh? Why would we even care? I don't. You sure? Still feel you holding back a bit. It's not about winning anybody's approval but my own. Oh, you just want to respect yourself in the morning, is that it? <laughs> and in the evening, and every minute in between. Why can't you do all that and... and love me too? I'm going to have to figure out a way. Because if there's something that I have learned, I'll never stop loving you. You really have outdone yourself, you know? You think so? Every little detail is just perfect. Good. Because I was kind of worried. You were? Yeah. Just racking my brain trying to Come up with some way to compete with two long necks and a dinghy, you know? Uh, don't even start in on Nick. Well, just finding out he's my brother, I kind of have to, don't I? You haven't even tried to get to know him. Nah. You should. He's family. And he's a very fascinating man. Mm -hmm. I think you two would become very close. We will never be close for one very simple reason. He's dating me? No, 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 no. That stench, a damn cigar. Oh, Rich. I can't believe you'd even want to be around the guy. I'm surprised his crew didn't throw him overboard. All right, you made your point. Can't even imagine you really having to kiss the guy. Logan. We should try these scallops. They're really delicious. Oh, come on, Midge. You knew I was dating him. What did you think? Uh, yeah. How did we
we get on this topic anyway? I was trying to compliment you on this wonderfully romantic evening. I want to marry you. I want to build a life with you. I want to build a family with you. And I don't want to play games. Neither do I. Then what are you doing? It's not a very good feeling, is it? Not knowing where you stand. Now you know how I felt all those years. Well, I'll explain later. But uh, thanks for everything. Give Hope a kiss, okay? Bye, Rick. You up for dessert? Well, maybe we should call it a night. I don't really think you're enjoying yourself. It's not that I don't know where you're coming from. You're unsure about me, my feelings. But I'm not, Logan. It's this waiting around for something that should have happened a long, long time ago. If anybody knows what you're talking about, I do. Are you turning the tables? No. It's just that little voice inside of me is telling me that I'm not ready to make a commitment to you or to anybody else. Hmm. Oh, I know that's not what you want to hear. Not what I want to hear either. So believe it or not, I'm a one-man woman. I just haven't decided on the man yet. So you have to be patient with me. That little voice in your head. What's it saying about dessert? Chocolates. Why am I not surprised? See? That's the problem with us. We know everything about each other. You are going to have blueberry cobbler a la mode. And I'm going to have something terribly rich and sinful. Chocolate decadence, I would say. Oh, it's so sad, really. Tragic. I mean, I should try something different for a change. You know, like creme brulee. We've gotten so boring. There's never really any surprises anymore. <gasps> Logan, I'm gonna surprise you for the rest of your life. It. Practical, too. What? You know, your new ground rules. Oh. Everything from here and below is off limits, and everything from here and up is fair game. You weren't so keen on that before. Yeah, well, I'm kind of warming up to it. Because I realize I still have several of my favorite parts up here, mm. like the ears. And the neck. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the lips. Don't forget the lips. Patience, patience. Wanting more. It's the confidence. Makes all the difference. I should have tried that years ago. Maybe you would have. If I had let you.
You're not responsible for my self-esteem, or lack thereof. No? No. I have put you through a hell of a lot over these years, Brooke. Mitch, you fell in love with a wonderful person. You got married, you raised a family. Now those were the right decisions for you then. Yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, if you couldn't be with me, then what... I could have let you go. You did? No. I kept you holding on, Roque. I kept you holding on. I would give you just enough to keep giving you a little bit of hope, and it wasn't intentional, though. I didn't really know what I'd done until... Well... I've had a lot of quiet time lately. Long nights, staring up at the ceiling. Giving a lot of thought to those dances we've always done. I can't say I'm real proud of what I saw. I didn't want to lose you, Brooke. I didn't want to lose you. Simple as that. The way you look at me, believe in me. You always get where I'm at. <laughs> and I can't imagine any man giving that up willingly. But I should have. For your sake, I should have. I look at you now. Radiating. This amazing confidence. And it's so damn beautiful. I'm the one who was standing in your way, Brooke. I'm the one who was keeping you from achieving this. And you'll never know how sorry I am. Are you angry? No. Sad. We weren't always good for each other. But we have been talking about growing from our mistakes. And Brooke, if I was ever lucky enough to have a second chance, it would be so different. I know you believe that. You're not sure. Well, how can I be? I'll tell you how. Look into my eyes. Look at how I look at you. I am dazzled by the woman you've become. She's the one I don't want to lose. And I'll do whatever it takes, Brooke. I'll change whatever it takes to keep you feeling this way. Let me... Let me show you how different it can be. It's just so easy to fall into the same old pattern here. Ah, but I'm not gonna let you, though. I know we can do this, Brooke. Just give me a chance to... to keep on surprising you. Well, you've certainly done that tonight. One hundred percent of my heart. That's what you'll have. And I mean that. I mean every word of it.